That was the worst. I don't know. I can't hear him. I can't hear you. Are you ready to have some fun? Bada bing! Real as fish is in the room. Jesus is. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. We can do it. Oh! No, no, wait, no, these are soda. You guys can clearly see this is soda. What? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> you all want to know what's in that box. Are you sure? You're positive. This box right here. You can't see. You can't see yet. Oh, you want to see? Okay. All right. You all want to see? Okay, it's a little ukulele because it's time for Rhymey Time with Alexis. Hey, boys and girls, it is O Rhyming Time with Alexis. Today's word is individuality. I know that's a big word. Let's break it down. Individuality. Say it with me individuality okay so what it means is discovering who you're meant to be so let's sing a song about it actually can I have you guys all clap like this yeah keep it going everybody clap 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 you in the back yeah clap one two three four Amazing I am, one of a kind and now understand I can reflect just who God is Makes me wanna say whoop a scoop a doop Amazing I am, one of a kind and now understand I can reflect just who God is Makes me wanna say whoop a scoop a doop Whoop a scoop a doop Yeah! Uh, uh, yeah! The Macho Bro. What? Okay, okay, okay. Everyone knows the rules of the game. Keep your hands to your side. I'm gonna say a part of the memory verse, and then when I get to that section of it, you have to say what that Boom, word. Boom! Like that. Just like that. You have to say what the word is. Okay? Oh, yeah. Got it? Hands to the side. All right. Hands to the side. It's to the side. Hands to the side. All right. Let's. Do this. Work at everything. Everything is right. First point for the Macho Bro. First point for the Macho Bro. All right, let's keep it moving. Macho Bro, who's your Have next victim? Have a seat. Nice try. Good try. Who's your next victim? Ooh, who's your me, next challenger? Let me look a little closer. Let me see. You back there! All the way, yeah. All the way back there. All Come the on way, down. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if you can beat the Macho Bro. All right, come on up. Come on up. Right there. Kind of face towards the camera. Come on up. Come on up. There you go. All right. Everyone's hand to the side. Hand to the side. Shh. 
It's gotta be quiet so I can destroy Troy! Destroy Troy! Oh yeah! All right, watch your Oh yeah! All right, come on over. Hands to the oh, side. Man. Hands to the side. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Oh yeah! We already did work at everything you do with all your. <laughs> what is it? Carne asada. It's your heart, BB. It's my heart. heart. Point to the Macho Bro. Oh, yeah. Point to the Macho Bro. Good try, good try. Yeah. Have you taken a seat? <laughs> is there anyone who can beat the mm. Macho Bro? There is absolutely, positively, nobody that can beat the Macho Bro. And the Macho Bro is so confident that nobody can beat the Macho Bro. He's so confident the Macho Bro is putting the entire belt on the line right now. Then the none of you, weight. no one can beat the Macho Bro. No one can do Who it. Who wants the belt? Who wants no the belt? No one wants the belt. What? <laughs> Who is that? You guys hear something? What do you hear? There's something in the locker. Oh! Why isn't this thing focused? Dave! Dave! Dave Burger King! Ladies oh. and gentlemen! Oh. Dave! Oh. Hurricane! Is, is that oh. Dave? What's going on? Dave! What are you doing here? T today's not the day I do the memory verse? Actually, oh. Macho Bro is challenging. Do you want to be a part of the challenge? Well, it's like a memory verse challenge? Yeah. You want oh. to be a part? No, oh, yeah, I think I can do that. Do you want Zane to be a part of the no, memory verse challenge? No. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Zane, wait. There's something that Bob usually does. So let me oh. get you over. To this side. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on. Let's. All right. And let's go. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So all how, right. Does that, how does this work? So this is how it works, Zane. All right. I'm gonna say a section of the memory verse. Uh huh. If you know it. Before our champ does, you're gonna press this buzzer. Okay. Do we do we win anything? The championship belt. Oh. Wow! Yep. I think I can boogie on that. You yeah. Boogie? I think so. All right. Let's have your hands down to your side. Macho bro, are you ready? Zane. Ooh. Yeah. Zane, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we can do it. All right. Here's the question. Say the entire memory verse. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Oh. Okay. If you can say the entire memory verse, you win the championship belt. Okay, 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 wait, wait. So if I say the whole memory verse, uh -huh. I get the belt. Okay, wait. Do you guys want to help me say the whole memory verse? No. All right. Well, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to say one part of the memory verse, and I need you to repeat me exactly the way I do it. Can you do that for me? Exactly. Exactly the way I do it. Oh, wow, you're pretty yeah, good. You know. All right, well, all right, well, everybody hop on your boogies. All right, here we go. Wait, I need everybody on your boogies because we got to do this for the belt. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could use a belt. I mean, I, I don't mean, know. You, you could, it looked good on uh, you. Uh, yeah, okay, all right, here we go. Colossians. Colossians. Wait, 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 one more time. Come on, everybody. No. All right, Colossians. Colossians. Three. Three. 23. 23. Work. Work. At everything, at everything you, do you do with all your heart, all your heart. Work. work as if you, as if you, as if you, as if you were, working were working for the Lord. For the Lord. Colossians, Colossians, three, three, twenty-three. 23. That's it. Hold on, hold on. Let me check. Zane is the new champion! Oh! Wow! He's the new winner! Take it, Scripps. Woo!
children. It's teacher Marina again here with you. I am so excited to bring this lesson to you today, but before we get started with that, I have a couple of images that I want to show you or logos. And if you know them, go ahead and scream them out. And then of course, I'm going to just let you know what they are. But here's the first one. Does anybody know what this is? The logo for Wonder Woman. I hope you guys got that one. It's my favorite character. Um, here's another one. Who knows this one? Obviously, Superman, Batman, all superheroes. So why did I show you guys these images? I showed it because they're representations of certain superheroes, right? When we think of those superheroes, we think of how they're heroic, brave, or even courageous. And when we see those, we know that those are the superheroes that are represented. They're images that are related with those superheroes. And just like those images, we're also images. We're created individually by God, but also in His image. In Genesis 127, we read where God created Adam and Eve. So after He was done creating the earth, the heavens, the birds, the water, everything that we see around us, He also created Adam and Eve. But He created them a little differently. Kind of think of it in a way of like somebody who creates coffee, like these things we have here. They have individual ingredients and they can just create something different. When God created Adam and Eve, he created them in his image and his likeness so that they would have his characteristics, like we were having the ability to be truthful, honest, and caring and kind. He also created you and I in his image and his likeness. So you have the ability to be truthful in times where you may not want to be. So God's created you to be unique and individual, but also in his likeness. So I'd like you to ask yourself how you're representing Christ today. How are you when you're around your friends or in your family? Are you honest? Are you truthful? Are you living the way that he intended you to live so that you can be a representation of who he is in the world? The way that we can go ahead and do that is by reading our Bible and praying and asking God to show us who He really is so that we know who He is and we can live in the same image that He intends for us to live in. So this week, I wanna challenge you to spend time with God, reading your Bible and praying and asking Him to reveal who He is so that you know what image to portray for the world to see. So until next time, you guys go out there and be super. Macho bro, what's going on? Ugh. Macho bro doesn't want to talk about what's going on. It's uh, it's really hurting his carne asada right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I mean, I see you don't have your belt with you. Is that kind of something <laughs> that has to do with it? Oh, the macho bro, he lost his belt. Oh. The macho bro is. He's just not worthy. He's not worth anything. The macho, macho bro is it's worthless. Macho bro, it's okay. It's okay. You know what? Having that belt doesn't define who you are. I'm, that made the bro. It didn't, though. Made the bro. I mean, just like in our lesson today, what did we learn? We learned that we're made in the image of God. So what does that mean? That we're worthy, we have value, and that we also have purpose because of the representation that he is. Right, so it doesn't have to do anything with a belt. It's all about what God, who God is. You're telling me it's just about the imagery of God and me. Right. And I just have to find the right imagery that he wants me to be. Exactly, you got it. Okay, I think I, think I know what you're saying. Is I'm, I'm going to figure out, you know, I don't have to be the bro. No, I can be no. somebody else. Yeah, you could be somebody else. Yeah, yeah, I think I got it. I'm, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, I think I think I know who I could be first. But uh, before I tell you who that is, uh, I heard you got one more video. Yeah, I actually do. So, boys and girls, let's go ahead and take a look at the last bite. So, before we end today, I just want to extend an invitation to those of you who want to accept Jesus into your heart, because it's so important when we want to live out the image of Christ. So, before we go ahead and do that, we're gonna follow the ABCs accepting Jesus into our heart, believing that he died for us, and confessing our sins and confessing him our Lord and Savior. So, can you go ahead and close your eyes and bow your heads for me. Dear Father, 
we come before you today accepting you into our hearts, believing that you died on the cross for us, and confessing our sins and confessing that you are Lord of our life. Help us to be a representation of you and live to be the image you've created us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, for those of you who said that for the first time or said that to rededicate your life, I am so glad that you have said that. We celebrate with you. We welcome you to the family. And I hope that you all have a great week. Goodbye, children. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to go on this journey that, you know, the macho bro needs to become somebody a little different. So, you know, the macho bro doesn't need all of his sunglasses anymore. The macho bro, he's done with that. He doesn't need his fluffy, his fluffy, because, you know, the belt isn't what made the bro. It's the macho bro that made the bro. And you know what? Instead of just being the macho bro, I'm going to try being like that Bob guy. So I'm going to be macho Bob guy. So we're going to end the show like the way macho Bob guy is going to do. And uh, does he usually say something at the end of this thing? What does he say? He says, bada bing, bada boom. We'll see you. Okay, we're going to try that together with the macho bro. Or should I say the macho Bob bro Bible guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's give this one a try. Bada bing. Oh, you guys are doing this with the macho Bob bro Bible guy. You got to say it with a little bit more. Are you guys ready to be loud? Right. Bada bing. I thought they said they were going to be loud. Now it's like, they said, you're going to be loud. You got to be louder than the macho bro. Bada bing. We'll see you real soon.